Welcome back to Fanboy Media. In this episode, I'm going to be showing the comic books I picked up from between December 15th and January 4th, 2015. Uh, there was Christmas in here, there was a lot of uh, specials or sales at the, the various comic book shops where you can pick up lots of things for about a dollar. Um, so there's a large number of books uh, that I plan to show, plus the uh, this also includes my regular pulls um, in the mix. So I hope you enjoy. Let's see what we've got. Akiko. I just picked up a few random Akiko ish issues that one of the comic book stores have had. Um, it's written and uh, drawn by Mark Crilly. Um, I really do enjoy Mark Crilly's YouTube videos. Uh, he publishes an, uh, an art drawing video every Friday and uh, I really I've read all his more recent stuff uh, like Brody's Ghost uh, Mickey Falls and this is sort of some of his er more earlier work and I just thought I would uh, pick up a few samples and see what it was like Alex plus Ada number 11 uh, as I've mentioned in a previous video I'm really working on my Amazing Spider-Man run and um, I had an opportunity to pick about 30 or so issues up um, towards that end, um, taking me down from needing about 150 to about 120 issues, uh, all between um, volume 2, number 22, and 700. So I'm just going to kind of flick through them. Uh, if there's any questions, comments, uh, feel free to just leave a comment or PM me and I'll certainly go back to any issue. Uh, anybody has any comments or uh, questions about. Um, I am saving up all the Spider-Mans. I'm not actually reading them until I complete the run and then I will read the complete run um, in one shot. Uh, hopefully in a few months uh, I'll be able to fill in the sort of 100 issues that I'm missing. Uh, these were some of the sale ones. Uh, we're back to volume three, so these are two more variants for number seven. Uh, the Deadpool and the Spider-Verse variants. Um, I also picked up all Batgirls that I could find. I've pretty much, I have all of volume four and have read it and up to date. Uh, quite enjoyed it in particular. Well, at least the Gail Simone part. Uh, the newer issues aren't so great, but I did want to go back and read the previous volumes of Batgirl, and uh, so I went to each of the stores and bought all the Batgirl issues uh, that they had available, uh, volumes one, two, and three, um, to at least give me a basis. Uh, and I did pick up a few duplicates by mistake. But, um, you know, it's a basis to start. Once again, just like the Spider-Mans, I'll be looking to fill in um, the issues that I don't have before I go and read them through. Uh, so, up to 23, 24, so that finishes Volume 3 of Batgirl. Uh, I did see this uh, Batman Batgirl Girl Frenzy, so I picked it up. Um, whenever there's a sale, I pick. that's when I pick up the Batman Eternals. Um, that's how I've done all of them, so I only picked up 30, 31, and 32. Um, just out of a random pickup, I picked up a Batman number 2, uh, volume 2, the new 52. Uh, number 9 variant. And then Birds of Prey, just similar to the, uh, the Batgirls. Uh, I went and picked up all the Birds of Prey that uh, I could find at the stores and once again looking to collect them all up and uh, read them in one big chunk. Um, I have a lot more work to do on the Birds of Prey than I do uh, the Batgirls and stuff like that, but uh, seem easy enough to get, so uh, I probably will be finishing them off. That was volume one, now this is a bit of volume two. I do have a complete run of volume three already. Uh, some pull books, Black Science, number 11, Black Widow, number 13, Bunker, number 8. I don't know why, just a random Captain Marvel that I picked up. Uh, I do also plan to pick up the like, Captain Marvels. Um, 
I was just curious what this Mar Marlowe was, so I picked it up. I presume she's one of uh, the male Captain Marvel sidekicks, but I must admit I don't really know. Uh, I do have the current run of Captain Marvel, and I have been working on um, moving back. So uh, this is Volume 7, uh, the, the number one variant, number two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I believe I'm missing nine if I'm not mistaken still. And once again, I'll be picking up the few ones that I'm missing uh, before I sort of bomb an entire volume. Dead at 17, Blasphemy Throne, number 5, Doublers, number 5, East of West, The World, Electra, number 9, Fantastic Four, number 14. Uh, also picked up a copy of the Fantastic Four, uh, Volume 5, Trade, number 1, which, of course, is the uses the artwork uh, that I own the original cover to. So, to have it as part of you know, anywhere that that artwork is used, I kind of would like to own it. Uh, Goner's number three, Graveyard Shift, number one, Guardians of the Galaxy, number five, the Scotty Young cover. Guardians of the Galaxy, <coughs> number 20, uh, the variant cover, Harley Quinn, number 13, both cover of uh, the standard covers. I also picked up um, on sale all these Jennifer Bloods by Dynamite, and uh, you know, for for books that I was picking up for like a dollar, it was actually a fairly good read. And um, I already had some. I uh, managed to get up to eleven solid, and then a few spotty issues. So once again, as I find the books cheap, I'll fill them in, and then I'll finish reading the series. Nara, um, Indian Summer. Um, I was just curious, you know, I do enjoy his covers uh, that he's done for Marvel, and I was just curious to see some of uh, uh, his actual finished work. Um, I kind of like his covers better, but it was enjoyable. Manifest Destiny, I think is number 12. Uh, Marvel Spotlight, number 32, first appearance of Spider-Woman. Um, Medic, number three. Kind of disappointed on how that ended. I just kind of expected a little bit more. Um, Miss Marvel, number one. Uh, also pick up Miss Marvels. Uh, once again, trying to build a, a complete volume before I read it. So I picked up a bunch of random issues. Um, actually ended up buying a lot of duplicates uh, unintentionally. Um, back to the poll. Marvel number 10, the current series, Kamala Khan. Uh, the new Suicide Squad number 3, the variant cover, got it on the cheap. Oddly Normal. Picked up another um, Thor Loki 10th Realm number 1. Not sure really why I picked that up. I think it was like 50 cents, so I just kind of threw it in. Uh, Outcasts, Resurrectionists number 2. Skylark Spiders, number two. She-Hulk, number 11. Shield. The main reason I picked this one up is it's got the thing on it, so it kind of fits into my Fantastic Four brain. Um, not much else to say there. Um, occasionally I'll pick up these the, the Millennium Editions for some of the, old, the older books. Um, Silver Surfer. I just kind of like the uh, Gamora cover on, on it. So I picked it up. Um, start picking up some Spider Girls once again with the intention of completing some of these volumes and then uh, reading them all. Uh, so current uh, Spider Woman number two, Storm number one, the variant. Uh, Superior Spider Man number 33, the variant. Uh, I do have a complete run of Superior Spider Man, so if I find the variants on the cheap, I usually add them to the collection. They're Not Like Us, Tomb Raider number 11, Wayward number 5, The Wicked and the Divine, not sure the issue off the top of my head, and Witches number 3, I believe. And there we go. That's all the books um, crammed into uh, about 8 minutes, 
10 minutes. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, once again, questions, comments, want more details, please leave a comment, PM me. I'll uh, do my best to get back to you. Well, thank you very much for watching, and have a, uh, have a good day.